Describe your love in 30 seconds. I live my life as if I was stuck in an elevator with a complete stranger. And I have 30 seconds to describe my life. Exactly how are you going to describe that life? I'm chatting with a friend this morning and we are talking about if you had 30 seconds, what message would you give? It's not really that complicated. Are you going to talk about the love, the legacy, or the drama? This is Susie, your beautiful swan queen. Welcome back to the garden, my beautiful ducklings. Subscribe, smash the like button, share my videos, and I promise I'll love you forever. So when you are describing your life in 30 seconds, today this is my life. Out with the old, in with the new. That didn't even take 30 seconds. I am redoing my living room and I am creating a new story in my living room. So my living room currently is my beautiful Batman couch that I call it. That's the new look. It's got a bunch of names on there and I'm not sure if they're cities or countries, but it's really cool because we have like Cantonese, Mandarin, Provence. I'm not sure if this is Barjiling. We're just going to go with it because that's how I know how to pronounce it. So I admit that this chair caught my eye, but it's really, really comfortable. And that's where we get stuck. We get stuck in the comfort zone of the old story. And then when we're creating the new story, we're not 100% sure of how to pronounce it or what to say. So use the elevator analogy. I literally am stuck in an elevator with you and you have 30 seconds to describe to me your life. What piece of your life are you going to describe? If I'm describing my love life in less than 30 seconds, that's really easy. I met this guy in the middle of a storm. Chaos was everywhere and he took my breath away and my heart before I even said hello. I swear when he walks, he jingles. And we are so much like the sun and the moon. When they come together and they kiss, the whole world stops and stares. And that's exactly what they do when the two of us are together. The world stops and stares. It's absolutely, positively amazing. It is the greatest gift in the world when you can describe your love in a story like that. It's why I say stories are the most important thing you need to change. This is the old couch. Every time I look at it, I see things I don't want to remember. This new chair and my new couch is giving me a different look. And that look is giving me peace of mind. And that peace of mind is giving me the ability to create whatever I want going forward. A lot of you know the story of my being assaulted. I'm not going to give out the full details, but I hate the couch simply because of what happened. The new chair doesn't have that story. The new chair, I can create a love story. I can create a successful business. I can create a family atmosphere. I can create whatever I want. But I have 30 seconds to tell that story. And that's where when people work in hospice, you really learn a lot about the life you should live, and the things that you should do. I say, go for that love. Because at the end, when you're laying on your deathbed and you have 30 seconds, you're talking about your regrets. You're talking about the things you didn't do. You're talking about the love that you had and whether or not it worked out or it didn't work out. That's the key. When you are surrounded by a life of luxury and material things, 
it's wonderful. It's glorious to be able to go out and buy any car you want, the house of your dreams. But what makes a house a home is what's inside of that home. It is what we do on a day-to-day basis. It's the people we talk to. It's the family and the friends that are in our inner circle. It's the legacy that we leave behind. The legacy that I leave behind, it's love. It's love. 100% love. I love, I jump in with both feet. I don't think twice. I just go for it. I give with passion and flair. And when I am laying on that bed, I have one regret. As of right now, I have one regret. That's not bad. But so many people have so many regrets. And the regrets are the things that you think about that you cannot change when you are dying. So I teach you guys how to get that love and keep that love so you don't have that regret. My regret, I walked away. I needed to learn things that I didn't know about. I needed to not jump out of the frying pan and into a different one. I thought I needed to learn about relationships in how to know the difference between good and bad. Honestly, I thought it was too good to be true. And as a result, my regret is I walked away. I let it go. And if I had to do it all over again, trust me, I would do it differently. I've learned what I need to learn. And I have looked back with the two brushes with death, the assault, and I've thought about my life And if it was on a movie screen, I hope it ends with I get that love back. Now, here's the catch. That's my new story. I can create that. I can be so creative that I can stand in that elevator and I can tell them the greatest thing that ever happened in my life was I got that love back. And it's still blissfully, incredibly amazing And the whole world still stops and stares, just like when the sun and the moon kiss. We all go outside when there's an eclipse. We talk about it for weeks. Businesses stop and they let their employees go outside. And then we take our phones and we look in our phones so that we can see it behind us because we're not supposed to look directly into the eclipse. I remember in school, the kids would make these little boxes so you could look at it. Or you'd have these 3D glasses and you would be able to look at it. But we all stopped. And you have 30 seconds in that elevator to have that life. Are you talking about how amazing it is? How wonderful it is? How you have grown together as a couple? How you have no regrets? It's why I say that this is a life choice. It's not a diet. It's not a quick fix. You must persist in the assumption until it hardens into fact. And once you get that relationship, you have to talk about how amazing it is. I got told this weekend that somebody got their love back and that they were fighting left and right because they stopped talking about how amazing their relationship was and the same problems that came up that caused the breakup were back rearing its ugly head it's like a cup of coffee every morning you get up you fix a cup of coffee is it the perfect cup of coffee well in my case it's always perfect because it has some form of an alabama flair to it i mean y'all know my coffee cup says um alabama this one says alabama and my other one that i love is a gift that says so loved how can that not be a life that you want to leave a legacy on so let's create that legacy let's talk about that story because that story is what you are repeating. That's the short story, the little white lie that you are creating in your reality. And that little white lie 
The more you tell it, the more you think it, the more you say it, physically say it out loud, you are creating that in your reality so it reflects in your outer world. And the more you talk about this beautiful new chair, and we don't talk about this over here, this is what we're creating. So what do you want to sit on that new chair? What story do you want to tell? Because that's the short story. And then we ask the questions. How did I easily get with my love just by asking this question? Why am I happily married to Jared? Because this is my story. I'm happily married to Jared. And I am going to repeat this over and over again. And when I get with Jared, or you get with your own Jared, he went to Jared's and he gave me the ring and life is amazing. I am going to tell everybody I meet that I am happily married because I worked in retail. I worked answering phones for a bank. I did telemarketing. I do life coaching now. This is my job and it is the greatest job in the world because I get to be Cupid. I get to be Venus, the goddess of love or Aphrodite and I get to get you guys together but keeping you together is the most important key. And when you are in that elevator, you have to talk about that person being amazing, loving, respectful, how much they appreciate you. You have to tell everybody you are so happy that everybody around you is happy. Because when you stop talking about how amazing your life is or how much money you make or how everything comes to you quickly, easily, and effortlessly. You are manifesting a life and everything works out to your advantage. Just like that, it stops. Just like that, it stops. And then this old story rears its ugly head. And it doesn't matter how many times we say that it's the old story. As soon as we stop telling the beautiful new story, we're in the middle and they do something stupid and right away, it's back to the drama. And then we have to manifest getting it back to this crazy, amazing love story. So be on that elevator, live there. Talk to that stranger and tell them how amazing your life is going. If you cannot physically say your love's life, your love's name out loud, I understand that. But you need to be vacuuming the floor and saying it. You need to be doing the dishes and saying, I am happily married to Jared out loud. You need to be talking to your friends and your family about how amazing your life is going. How are you doing today? I'm doing great. Life is getting better and better every day. I'm living my dream life. When you first start, they're going to be like, oh, come on. I know your life. It's filled with drama. But when you start, it's the turning point. When you feed the drama, when you talk about the negativity and politics and religion and everything going wrong in your reality, you are creating more of it. We live right now. The past is gone and it's just a story we told. The future isn't here yet. But here's how your brain thinks. If I'm repeating it over and over and over and over again, it's going to create it. If I'm saying it in the now, it's going to bring it to me quickly. Because in reality, my conscious mind thinks about, well, this was the past. This is the future. It doesn't think about what's going on right now that I'm creating. So the more I say, Jared's now knocking on my door, asking me to be in a fully committed relationship, what am I creating? Jared's going to knock on my door right behind me, and I'm going to be in a fully committed relationship. The more you talk about the things that they're doing wrong, you're creating them doing more wrong. You're stuck which is why you should live your life like you have 30 seconds in an elevator with a complete stranger. Now you want that stranger to write your autobiography. So what are you telling them? Tell them the greatest short story you possibly can because that's what I'm teaching you to create. A short story 
that makes your life absolutely positively amazing. I want you to be the person that the world stops and stares at, just like the sun and the moon. We all love an eclipse. It was 4th of July weekend here in the United States. Absolutely amazing. The fireworks were going off and we had a beautiful full moon behind it. And my phone was dead, so I didn't get a single picture. Because I was too busy living my life, I forgot to charge my phone. And those are going to be things that happen when you are living your dream life. And the more you say, I'm happily living my dream life, I'm happily married, I have the greatest job in the world, life is amazing. You are creating that just by speaking it into existence. But when your imagination, your thoughts, and your words line up, you're creating that instantly without any effort. You don't actually have to do anything. You don't have to clean up your stuff. You can be miserable and still living your dream life with all the money in the world in your bank account. You can have yachts and multiple houses around the universe. But that love story, that's the story we're all looking for. Is it going to be on a TV screen? Is that person going to be enthralled that you're telling in 30 seconds? What are you telling your great grandkids as you're sitting on the porch rocking? Live your life like that and I promise you things will change. But you got to take the first step and create that 30 second story. I love you guys. Have a positively amazing day. Subscribe, smash the like button, share my videos, and as always, tell me how what I'm sharing with you is drastically changing your life for the better.